All right, I'm going to show you guys something that I came across. All right, so I have this this bayonet. I'll, I'll show you the statistics of this bayonet real quick. It's a M9 Phase 3.004 float. Here, I can go to CSGO Exchange. Uh, someone tried to scam me, and before before you have any ideas, see, this is it says it's 300 value. All right, 300 value is the alleged value. That's not putting into the account the float value or the phase or anything like that. It's probably about maybe 350, maybe 340 because of the such low float. That's that's probably about it at most. So uh with that, let's let's just round it off and say it's 330. Just so it's it's better to say you have less than more. So, let's go back to this trade. This guy tried to scam me. Uh, he says he has a flip knife sapphire factory new. Uh, sapphire is worth around 180 keys, roughly. A flip knife sapphire. And that is about 400 and... I want to say $70, 440 I can't remember. I think it's 440 Something like that. So it could go around 180 to about 200 keys, depending on the buyer and the float value. So as you see here... He says he has a flip knife, which is 0.003 or 0 .03, uh, float. And if you go to his profile, see he has a profile, obviously. Everyone has a profile. And if you go here, he shows a screenshot of the, uh, of the knife. And if you go here, you can clearly see, I don't want to inspect it in game because I don't know if my OBS, yeah, right there. If my OBS will handle that, if it'll capture in game, so I'm just not going to expect it. But you can clearly see from the picture here that it's a sapphire. See, 0 .03 float sapphire. It's it's really obvious to say that this is the sapphire he said he's trading. But here's where he gets you. If you go to here, he has a Steam offer. He can't offer from here, but he has a Steam offer. Uh, watch when I click this. I'll just drag it up to the side. Now, if you go to his inventory, now you see it's a different knife. It's a phase 4.05 float. And the difference in price, it's it's a massive difference in price. This thing is actually, this float value and this, this phase, mainly, mainly the phase, the float value doesn't really mind too much because it's, it's such a minor difference. 0 0.0 whatever is nothing big. But this is a phase 4. A phase 4 is completely different from the sapphire that he said he is selling. So sapphire is worth significantly more. Actually, it's worth like about triple the price. Roughly, roughly triple. And this is worth like 154 as it says. I'm just using rough numbers here. But as you can see, he's trying to get you. You can tell with the way he has his inventory set up. Like he even matched the skins. Like look at this. This is impressive. This is actually really, really, like, tedious as shit. Like, this guy is a piece of shit. He's fucking trying to scam people. But you could even check his other items. Like, for example, this Og Ricochet. Point 0.3. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, this one's point 0.2. So you can tell there's a difference. Deagle Mutter. Uh, that one is... 0.09. And this one is... Okay, that one's 0.09. He actually matched that one up. But this is fucking ridiculous, the scamming shit. It's just, why? Why do you try this hard to scam? He matches up the fucking float values of his other skins. Like, are you serious? That's that's insane. At least he tried to. 0. 0.4? What's this one? 0. 0.6? But yeah, he even matched up the skins in his inventory. And the, and the items on Steam... I don't know about the items, but I'm pretty sure he has this one on his other account. Wouldn't surprise me. But this is this is pathetic. This is actually pathetic. Like the fact that he tried to scam me this way, it's really silly. I knew there's something up because there's no reason he would add a hundred extra dollars just because of the float value. Just had a little bit of a burp there, but that's kind of ridiculous. I'll show you a really really quick and easy way that I confirmed that this is what he was doing so if you see his badges on the right right here 
You can see he has the Pillar of Community, Manifest Destiny, Humanity, and Select Collector. This one, he has Pillar of Collector, blah, 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 he has all those other shit. You can tell this one is different. And also, you can see his games. The amount of games he has is an easy way to tell. And the likes on his um, profile. And you can also check the hours on his games. See, he has 15.4 hours, 16.6. 6.6, 4.6, and you can also look at his profile, or his profile, not his profile, what am I trying to say? He even tries to add the same message. Like, that's, that's actually really pathetic, his groups are even different too. But I mean, he went that far to try and scam people, like, that is, that is actually really, really impressive, I will admit. But still, if you have anything like this happen please check the float value to the entirety the float value the grade of knife like phase one through four whatever the fuck it is check all that shit before you do the final trade always check it in the trade window never check like if you check in here you're gonna be like oh that's the knife that i see okay i'm just i'm it, since i see it in there i might as well click on trade offer and i might as well just like might as well just go on and do this. See, I noticed that because I looked... I probably wouldn't have caught that. I actually might have not have caught that if the picture wasn't different. This picture was different. So I caught that and I noticed it. I was going to inspect it in-game anyways. Nah, I would have caught it. <laughs> I inspected it in-game and I did notice right away. I did notice the picture was different. But I inspected it in-game and as it is, it's a phase four and it's not a sapphire. So I hope you guys can avoid getting scammed like this. You can also check his uh, profile on CSGO Exchange. Always check that. You can check that for float value. I have this, um, this app called Steam Inventory Helper. So that's what shows me the price, the float value, and uh, the exterior and all that stuff. Uh, you can just get it on Google Chrome. I think it's just Steam Inventory Helper. It's literally just one of these it's it's this one right here i believe yeah pretty sure this is it yeah added in chrome so yeah just just get this i'll maybe leave a link to it or something i don't know hopefully i don't forget but yeah just watch out for that shit like they'll get you another thing that people like to do now one thing that i did notice uh usually what people do is they will put the item on the market they'll put the item on the market and they will trade you the other one now, here's what you can do. Like, here's what I did. I went on the market and I searched through all of the factory new Dopplers. And I did not see his name or his picture or anything like that. But you always want to double check everything. Like, you could tell that this guy is full of shit if you look at his uh, profiles. And I called him out on it. I can't report him because uh, my Steam level is only 2, which is so stupid. Or not my Steam level, my level on on here it's only two or you have to be two I have one reputation so I literally need one more reputation look I can't I can't report him right, I'll just say scammer you didn't put any reason it's too short are you serious tried to scam with knife phase boom so you need to have at least two reputation CSGO lounge should really fix their bullshit like this should really like I'm not saying to sort out this shit. I'm saying they should make you be able to comment on people's profiles no matter what. You should be able to report them no matter what. You shouldn't need a level of two. That's fucking stupid. That is literally stupid. You need a level of two to be able to report somebody? That doesn't make any sense. Like, I guess I could see the point there, but it should be once your account is like maybe a year old, it should automatically make it so you could report people. So now I can't report this asshole. So yeah, just always double check. Check the knife when it's in the trade window. And not when it's in your inventory after you already traded it. <laughs> That's not a good idea. So for example, check it right here. Don't, do not make the offer or accept the trade until you are ready. Inspect it in game, make sure everything plays out. Check the where, check his inventory. <clears throat> check everything see I can do this I can uh, 
go back here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can... Oh, come on. Why is Steam being so stupid? I can go to here. CSGO Exchange. Alright, I can throw his inventory <coughs> in here. Just like so. He has a sapphire on that account. Now if I go to this one, we can uh, go back. Now I can do this. I'm going to open up a second CSGO exchange. I'm curious if he put the same profile on CSGO exchange. That is really going to extreme measures if he did that. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. No, he didn't. So you can see he has like the same shit in both inventory. It's literally like almost identical. He has one more case. <clears throat> but yeah, always always check that shit and don't get scammed. Happy trading!